more than 80% of stomach ulcers are caused by a microorganism known as H. pylori. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the symptoms of H. pylori and what you can do about getting tested to see if you do in fact have an H. pylori infection. Enjoy. <laughs> A lot of people have the microorganism Helicobacter pylori present somewhere in their gut, but not all of those people suffer with symptoms. So some of those people will have symptoms and usually that's the result of your body rejecting the microorganism, meaning your body's trying to fight it off. And when that happens, we get inflammation. When you have inflammation in the stomach and in the small intestine, everything gets kind of puffy and there's pressure and it pushes up and there's nowhere for the puffiness to go but to push out and you so you get a little pot belly pushing that out and you get that bloating feeling and pushing up and whenever that inflammation pushes up then you start to get some symptoms like uh, acid reflux some of the acid from your stomach starts to get pushed up into your esophagus and starts to burn and get the heartburn feeling and you may get excessive belching or frank pain in specific areas you could like point exactly to the pain in your stomach if you have the pain and that's probably due to a stomach ulcer the only way to know if it's an ulcer for sure is to have the doctor put a camera down in your stomach the uh, procedure is called endoscopy or an egd and then they could see if there's an ulcer down there with the, with the camera in the stomach, they could also see if you do have an H. pylori infection. Now that is the gold standard for diagnosing an H. pylori infection, but you could get a non-invasive test to see if you have an H. pylori infection as well. So when you go to your doctor, you let them know you've been suffering with heartburn and the, and the excessive belching and stomach pain. And what they should do is order some diagnostic laboratory tests. The first test I would order would be a H. pylori urea breath test. And the reason why I choose the breath test is because it's very easy to do. I made another video on this topic. There's a link down in the description. You could check that one out. But basically you you take a, um, a solution that has a radioactive um, uh, carbon and it's not dangerous and you um, drink the solution and then the organism will digest that solution if it's present if H. pylori is present it will digest that solution and it will form a waste product uh, called urea and then whoosh, you breathe out into the bag and the lab analyzes it and then they can see that oh there's urea in there so we know that you have an active H. pylori infection right now. The second best test is a stool test. That is just as accurate as the breath test, but I mean, you gotta collect your stool, which is kind of gross. So the breath test is the best test in my opinion to do. And if you are suffering with an H. pylori infection, go ahead and check out the video I made on the best home treatment for H. pylori infection. Link's down in the description below. If you like the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you don't miss out on my future videos. I thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.